after the game, Justin Turner decided to come back on the field contrary to Major League Baseball rules and celebrate with his teammates. They were fine with it. Manager Dave Roberts said players were fine with it. Turner posed without his mask on for team photos. He also posed with the World Series trophy and even kissed his wife. Now, the Corona Bros out there are losing their minds over this. I happen to think this is a fairly rational response by the Dodger players who said, wait a minute. The guy played an entire baseball game. If he's been with us for months at a time and if he's only going to be on the field for a few more minutes, do we really think that we're going to get exposed and end up getting COVID from the few minutes he's on the field? That exposure level is likely to be fairly low. Now, Larger context, this is a major issue for Major League Baseball because you got a positive test near the end of the season. And the larger issue here is what does Major League Baseball do going forward? Do they keep the Dodgers sequestered in Dallas? Do they keep the Rays sequestered in Dallas as well? And what in the world kind of message are we sending about COVID in general? And I'm going to get into this with the Big Ten in a moment. When In a fairly straightforward fashion, our policies on COVID are fundamentally broken. Let me use the city of Los Angeles as an example. In LA, you cannot go watch the Dodgers play in their stadium. But you can pull your car into the parking lot of Dodger Stadium and watch it drive-in style on a big screen. By the way, when the Dodgers won the title, what do you think everybody did who was in the Dodger Stadium parking lot? They all got out and celebrated together the Dodgers winning the title as many people across Los Angeles did. I hope you saw all the fireworks going up. I remember how incredible it was to see all the fireworks last year on July 4th when I spent the day in LA and I was coming back up to West LA on the 405 from the South Bay and there were literally fireworks everywhere. It looked just like it did when the Dodgers won. But in LA... You can't drive in your car to Dodger Stadium and go sit in a socially distant stadium and watch the Dodgers play. But you can get in your car, drive to LAX, hop on a plane flight there, fly all the way to Dallas, rent a car, get a hotel room, buy a ticket, and go watch the Dodgers play in person in Texas. Then you can go out after they won, celebrate, go back to your hotel room, get in a car, go to the airport, get back on an airplane, and fly all the way back to Los Angeles. That is permitted, but getting in your car and driving to Dodger Stadium is not. How does that make any sense at all? 